time right now for our favorite part of Friday. We are checking out what's happening at the movies this weekend. And for that, we are going to turn to film critic Tom Santilli from MovieshowPlus.com. Hello, I'm Tom Santilli, film critic here with your weekend movie watch list. Of course, the last few weekends at the box office have been dominated by Top Gun Maverick and Jurassic World Dominion. But this weekend sees an entire slew of new movies opening at theaters and on streaming. Let's dive right in. Speaking of Top Gun Maverick, its director, Joseph Kaczynski, has another movie opening this weekend. It's on Netflix, and it's called Spiderhead. It's a psychological thriller starring Thor himself, Chris Hemsworth, as well as Miles Teller from Top Gun Maverick. Beautiful people get away with too much, and I say that having benefited myself from time to time. Jerry and Marge Go Large is new on Paramount Plus this weekend. It stars Brian Cranston and Annette Benning in a true story about a Michigan couple who found a loophole in the lottery and went on to make fortunes. It really does feel like we're robbing a bank. Nah, this is going to be more fun. Then there's a film coming called Cha-Cha Real Smooth. It stars Dakota Johnson and 24-year-old Cooper Rafe, who also wrote and directed the film. It won lots of praise at the Sundance Film Festival, and that is streaming on Apple TV Plus this weekend. How many soulmates? Were you, like, four? How many do you have? Like, 1,200. <laughs> On Hulu, you'll find another festival darling, the romantic comedy called Good Luck to You, Leo Grand. This movie stars Emma Thompson as a woman who hires a young sex worker, played by Daryl McCormick, who end up befriending each other. This movie also premiered to rave reviews at Sundance and is worth checking out. Well, that all sounds very achievable. Have I booked enough time? You, you want to do it all today? <laughs> yes. No. Then there are also two smaller movies coming to theaters this weekend. Both are somewhat strange but charming feel-good films. The first is called Brian and Charles, about a man who battles loneliness by inventing a robot companion. And then there's The Phantom of the Open, starring Mark Rylance and based on a true story about a man who shot the worst round of golf ever at the British Open. I've saved the biggest for last. This weekend gives us the latest animated family film from Pixar, Lightyear. It's the movie that young Andy from the Toy Story movies first saw that made him love the Buzz Lightyear toy, and it stars the voices of Chris Evans, Kiki Palmer, Taika Waititi, and Bill Hader. It also features Lightyear's adorable kitten sidekick, Socks, who will surely become the new favorite character to all children who see it. To infinity. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? Don't fall for it. No, not like that. Ugh. Sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah. Pixar's Lightyear is playing everywhere this weekend and looks to unseat Jurassic World Dominion as the number one film at this week's box office. I'm Tom Santilli, film critic for WXYZ and Movie Show Plus. You can find all of my full reviews of these movies and more on our website, movieshowplus.com, including our newest episode that debuts this Sunday. Next week sees the release of Elvis, and I'll be back here to give you my thoughts. Until then, stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you out at the movies. Thank you so much, Tom.